Hello and welcome to our channel, where we discuss all things related to renewable energy. Today, we'll be talking about solar power homes and how they work. Why choose solar power homes? Solar power homes are becoming increasingly popular for several reasons. Firstly, they are environmentally friendly, reducing greenhouse gas emissions and promoting sustainable living. Secondly, they provide energy independence, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and traditional energy sources. Finally, solar power homes can save homeowners money on their electricity bills. So, how do solar power homes work? The system typically consists of solar panels that are installed on the roof or in a nearby location with good exposure to sunlight. The panels are made up of photovoltaic cells that convert sunlight into direct current DC, electricity. The DC electricity is then sent to an inverter, which converts it into alternating current AC, electricity that can be used to power the home. Any excess energy generated by the system is stored in batteries or fed back into the grid. Components of a solar power home There are several components that make up a solar power home system, including the solar panels, inverter, battery storage, and monitoring system. Each component plays a vital role in ensuring the system operates efficiently and effectively. Advantages of Solar Power Homes Solar power homes offer many benefits, including reduced energy bills, increased energy independence, and reduced environmental impact. Additionally, the system requires minimal maintenance, is reliable, and has a long lifespan. The amount of time a house can run on solar power alone depends on several factors such as the size of the solar panel system, the amount of energy the house uses, the location of the house, and the weather conditions in that area. In general, a house equipped with a solar panel system can generate electricity during daylight hours when the sun is shining. The excess energy generated during the day can be stored in batteries for use at night when there is no sunlight. If the house is designed to be highly energy efficient and uses energy efficient appliances, lighting, and heating and cooling systems, it may be possible to operate the house on solar power alone for several hours or even the entire day. However, if the house uses a lot of energy or is located in an area with limited sunlight, the solar panels may not be able to generate enough electricity to power the house for an extended period without backup generators or batteries. Overall, the duration a house can run on solar power alone without backup generators or batteries will depend on the specific circumstances of the house and its location. How long does a house that is designed to be highly energy efficient and uses energy efficient appliances, lighting, and heating and cooling systems, run on solar power alone? The duration that a highly energy efficient house can run on solar power alone will depend on several factors, such as the size of the solar panel system, the amount of energy the house uses, and the local weather conditions. If the solar panel system is properly sized to meet the energy needs of the house and is located in an area with ample sunlight, and if the house is designed to be highly energy efficient and uses energy efficient appliances, lighting, and heating and cooling systems, it may be possible for the house to run on solar power alone during the daylight hours when the sun is shining. During this time, the solar panels will generate electricity, and any excess energy generated can be stored in batteries for use at night when there is no sunlight. The duration of time the house can run on solar power alone will depend on the energy demands of the house and the size of the battery storage system. Generally speaking, a house with a highly energy efficient design and energy efficient appliances, lighting, and heating and cooling systems can potentially run on solar power alone for several hours or even the entire day, provided that the solar panel system is appropriately sized and there is ample sunlight available. How many 300 watts panels and batteries will run such a house? The number of 300 watt solar panels and batteries needed to run a house that is designed to be highly energy efficient and uses energy efficient appliances, lighting, and heating and cooling systems will depend on several factors, such as the size of the house, the amount of energy the house uses, and the local weather conditions. Assuming a highly energy efficient house with an average energy consumption of 10 kilowatt hours (kWh) per day, a 300 watt solar panel would generate around 1.2 kilowatt hours of electricity per day in an area with good sunlight. To generate 10 kilowatt hours of electricity per day, the house would need around 8 to 9 solar panels. In terms of batteries, the size of the battery bank needed will depend on the energy consumption of the house and the duration of backup power required. A common battery voltage for residential solar power systems is 48 volts. Assuming a 10 kWh daily energy consumption, a battery bank with a capacity of around 20 kWh would be needed to provide backup power for two days in the event of low sunlight or other disruptions. 
It is important to note that these are rough estimates, and the actual number of solar panels and batteries needed will depend on the specific energy consumption of the house, the location, the size of the solar panel system, and the battery capacity. It is recommended to consult with a solar energy expert to determine the appropriate size and capacity of the solar panel system and battery bank needed for a specific house. To calculate the number of solar panels and batteries needed to power your pool pump, you will need to know a few additional details. The voltage of your pool pump. The amount of sunlight your solar panels will receive on average per day. The capacity of the batteries you plan to use. Assuming your pool pump operates at 120 volts, here is a general calculation to give you an idea of the number of solar panels and batteries you will need. Solar panels. To determine the number of solar panels you need, you first need to calculate the total watt hours your pool pump will consume in 8 to 12 hours of operation. If your pool pump consumes 750 watts, and you plan to run it for 8 to 12 hours, then the total watt hours consumed will be between 6000 and 9000 watt hours, 750 watts by 8 to 12 hours. Next, you need to calculate the number of solar panels needed to generate this amount of power. The output of a solar panel depends on the amount of sunlight it receives, so this will vary depending on your location and the time of year. As a rough estimate, a typical 250-watt solar panel generates around 1,000 watt-hours per day in sunny weather. So, to generate 6,000 to 9,000 watt-hours per day, you will need between 6 to 9 solar panels, assuming 250 watts per panel. Batteries. The number of batteries you need will depend on the capacity of the batteries and how long you need the system to run without sunlight. To calculate the required battery capacity, you first need to estimate the total energy consumption of the pool pump during the hours of darkness. 2. Assuming 12 hours of darkness, and a pool pump consumption of 750 watts, this will be 9000 watt hours, 750 watts by 12 hours. If you plan to use 12 volt batteries, you will need to connect them in series or parallel to achieve the required voltage and capacity. Assuming you use 12 volt, 100 ah batteries, you will need at least 3 to 4 batteries, assuming 50% depth of discharge, to provide the necessary capacity to run the pump for 8 to 12 hours. It's worth noting that these are rough estimates and your actual requirements may differ depending on a variety of factors, including your location, weather conditions, and the efficiency of your solar panels and batteries. In conclusion, solar power homes are a fantastic investment for those who want to reduce their energy bills, increase their energy independence, and reduce their environmental impact.